Welcome to the shooting show. This week it's a triple bill on the roebuck with me in East Yorkshire. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. Stick with dough, won't it? As long as you're out walk through. Yeah, brill. Right, if, cool. you if you follow us on then. Uh... We'll just turn. Are you going that way? Actually, we'll turn. We'll go out that way. Yeah, we'll pull again. What is a Ford? Fix or repair daily. Tonight we've jumped into uh, the high seat um, and we've been in a grand total of, I don't know, maybe maybe 15 minutes. 15 minutes um, yeah. Literally just enough time to let the sort of disturbance of us getting into the high seat settle and then we've tried our arm, chanced our arm a little bit and gave a few doe squeaks on the buzzlo call and I don't know, crikey, within what, a minute or so? He appeared. He's, he's bouncing out. He's on the little ride there yeah. and got the shot. Yeah, on got got the camera on. You got straight onto him with the gun and he just kept coming. And uh, I gave him a whistle in the end to stop him. Yeah. Um, 
we'll go down and have a look at him. Yeah. Started the day, never shot a rowboat and finished with Yeah, that was your first rowboat as well. Yeah. So you've had a brace of rowboats. A brace of rowboat for yeah. me. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent job. Excellent. You just load up again, just in case. Okay. We're just going to go and check out his his second book. I think it went down pretty much bang flop anyway, but we're loaded again already, just to, just in case. So we'll go in and uh, get this prepped and done. Bigger than this morning's or this afternoon's rather. Mm. Still an absolute cracker there. Mm. Fantastic. Yeah, so either. Well done, mate. Thank you, so, thank you very Spot much. So, Mikey, it's been a, an eventful couple of days. Yeah. First evening he came down, it was raining like dreadful. Mm -hmm. And it looked like we were going to be in for a bit of a tough time. Um, the following morning, we got out, stalked onto the, the game strip and even walking on the, the stubbles, you know, the ground sort of yeah. really wet there. Um, we bumped a little buck who never did turn up by the time we sort of got into the into the high seat and sort of fruitless first sit in the high seat. But yeah. again, there's plenty of wildlife kicking about. Mm -hmm. Then we had a, a nice breakfast at the St. Quentin's and then uh, Pete took you into one of the box high seats looking yeah. onto a nice sort of woody glade with I think beans to to one side and and it was a barley field barley on the other, field the other yeah. and I went off to get my truck and was going to come back and film you and I managed to get my buck before uh, before you got back yeah. before I even got back nice little buck yeah awkward in the barley I think he he disappeared on you at one point yeah it, yeah yeah it, it disappeared um just along the side of the yeah. hedgerow um but then he came back out and I managed to get a clean shot, a shot on the, the tram line. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, perfect. We've got that retrieved and done, and you know, no dramas there. No. And after uh, what three four hours rest, it was time for the for the evening session. So yeah. you know, fairly sort of intense day stalking, which you know when you the, it's the rut or you know they're still sort of chasing as your as your first book was sort of chasing a doe. Yeah. Um, we then plumped for one of the high seats, the one of the open high seats in a in a nice area again with a sort of a barley field mm -hmm. and got nestled in. What were we in maybe what fifteen minutes 15 or so? Minutes, yeah. Got you loaded up and ready with the rifle um, and a few squeaks and literally it was almost like we'd pressed a button on a jack in a box <laughs> yeah. but come bursting out of the side. Um, I'm scrabbling to get the, the camera on at the same time and you, you got on him and waited for me to get him nicely into, into focus and a few more squeaks and he looked like he was maybe just going to run and sit at the bottom of the high yeah. seat. Um, I whistled him and stopped him and uh, got the shot. Yeah, again another another nice clean shot so those were your first two two row books. First two row books. Same day. One day. Um, we've had a little bit of a high seat session this morning. We've seen quite a bit of wildlife. We've seen a, a doe over the far side with a, yeah. I think, with a little fawn. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, and we've had a little a little stalk yeah. up here onto this quiet area of the rough ground, um, yeah. onto the sticks. But I think we both agree it's a bit it's a bit dead. Um, maybe be sort of calling a little bit later on, but. Uh, that's it, job done. Yeah, three, three, four stalks. 
and uh, got your yeah. first couple of row books. Couple so of books. excellent, thank you very much. Congratulations, excellent, mate. Excellent uh, day, beautiful morning. Yeah, yeah. And you're going to take the heads and have them prepped and done. Yep. Maybe we'll see some photos of them at some yep, point. Get them sent All right, down, Mikey. Yep. Excellent. Great stuff. Thank you very much. And now, it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. Gamekeepers have played a key role in controlling the Saddleworth Moor fire and in preventing other fires in the British uplands. Bask explained to the government how land management for shooting results in strategic fire breaks, reducing the opportunities for fire to spread as well as providing a crucial habitat for upland birds. The association has published an infographic that highlights the benefits of grouse shooting for land management, conservation and fragile rural economies. Shooting could be included in the next Commonwealth Games after all. A government minister confirmed that politicians are exploring the potential of including the shooting sports in Birmingham 2022. Shooting is an optional sport in the Commonwealth Games but it has featured in every single one since 1974. The Birmingham team left shooting off its provisional list of sports. The final decision on whether to reinstate shooting rests with the Commonwealth Games Federation. Great Britain has another shooting medal on the world stage. The women's trap team in the ISSF Junior World Cup took gold, setting a junior team world record along the way. Rebecca Ferguson, Augusta Campos-Martin and Lucy Hall scored a combined 322 to top the podium. There's potential for more medals before long, as the next stage of the ISSF Shotgun World Cup starts today. There's a new initiative to help locate stolen guns. The Gun Loss Register is a searchable international database of more than 5,000 stolen firearms, from modern-day guns to antiques. Users just sign up at the dedicated website, submit the make, model and serial number of a firearm they want to search for, and they can get a response in as quickly as 10 minutes. Check it out at gunlossregister.com. That was the Shooting Show News. This has been The Shooting Show. Thanks for watching.